This video is about how to install Android Studio in Ubuntu 20.04. This is a snap install of an Android IDE or Integrated Development Environment. If you want to build software to run on Android phones, Google with IntelliJ IDEA offer free downloads of Android Studio. It can run on free Linux operating systems like Ubuntu. So if you've got the hardware, you can begin working on your very first phone app without putting out a lot of loot. Also, Android Studio is easier than ever to install with Ubuntu Snap. Outcomes for this video would include installing KVM, a kernel virtualization machine, virtualization into Ubuntu, install Android Studio with Snap, create a Hello World program in Android Studio, add the Ubuntu user to the KVM group, and create a new emulator and run Hello World. Requirements, these are kind of like minimum requirements. A computer BIOS that supports virtualization. A 64-bit multi-core processor. Ubuntu 20.04 desktop installed. 8 gigabytes of RAM. And an internet connection. Now the next three slides contain additional sources of info, a list of the software used in making this video, and disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop this video to read the slides. Before installing Android Studio, I'm going to install KVM. So what's KVM? KVM is a kernel-based virtual machine which provides hypervisor virtualization for Linux computers. In this instance, I will be using KVM for Android, but you can also use KVM for VirtualBox in Ubuntu. So here I am at developerandroid.com and this site right here describes how to install KVM for Android. If you actually install this for Android, it'll still work for VirtualBox the way this is. So we go to the first thing right here, and I'm just going to copy and paste, and basically the first step is to see if we can install KVM into Ubuntu. Pseudo app get install CPU checker will make sure that you've got all the stuff necessary to run your KVM. You need virtualization enabled in your BIOS. And it also helps to have more than one CPU core. So I'm going to just copy this right here. To the app get install CPU checker. Copy. And I'm going to paste it into my command line. Paste. Hit enter. Of course it asks for a password. Whoops. Always get a little too fast. And it asks if I want to install it. Yes. Some of you may find you've already got this installed on Ubuntu 20.04. So now I'm going to copy the next line, which is egrepc. Copy, paste. So basically what this does, is let's look for VMX or SVM in this PROC slash CPU INFO file. And let's count how many instances of that we have. So let's enter and in my case it's very hard to see here let me move this over so okay now you can see it better eight so anything over one is okay if it says zero you really can't be installing kvm and the next line is kvm dash okay and in this instance there is no space after the m or before the dash Click on info says dev KVM exists and KVM acceleration can be used. So let me go down, get down to the actual install. And since this is greater than Cosmic 1810, I can copy and paste it right here. Paste. And I'll hit a space and then I'll hit it dash Y. Hit enter. And it's going to install it, or all the dependency that KVM requires, especially for Android. So that's it for installing KVM. Next step would be to install Android Studio. So the next step is going to be install Android Studio. Let's just get rid of our command line interface and our browser. And to do that, we go down here where it says Ubuntu Software, the suitcase. Open that up. Click on Development. Click on Android Studio, and then click on Install. Of course, it asks for your password. 
And that's pretty much it for installing Android Studio. We'll see what happens after we get it installed. And so it's actually installed. And you'll see this little icon pop up. And if the icon doesn't pop up, what you can do is go right here, show applications, and have it search for Android Studio. Got it spelled correctly. Yeah, you've seen it pop up. And you can get it start to run from right here. Here I am in Ubuntu 20.04 with Android Studio installed. As you notice, in my Ubuntu version, I put all the icons at the bottom. And right here is the Android Studio icon. And so now I'm going to go create a Hello World program and verify that everything is working. The first thing it says is no Android SDK found, and that will show up on your first run. So then just simply click Next. And then we're going to accept the default and click Next and Next. And finally, it goes to License Agreement. There's two license agreements that you're going to have to sign or you're going to have to accept. One is the SDK license, accept. And then the Android SDK preview license, again, accept and then you can go click on finish and there will be a download of the SDK components for Android Studio. So once that's done simply click on finish and you get a welcome to Android Studio screen. Click on new project. You've got a choice of projects here. I'm going to expand this screen a little bit so that you can kind of see that there's a whole bunch there. I'm going to choose Empty Activity because I just want to get everything working. Click Next. Ask for a name for your application. It's going to be a simple Hello World program. Package name, com dot something dot something and you've got a location and you can change that by clicking on this icon right here to the right. Language, Kotlin, go all the way to the right and you can actually pick Java if you wish, but I'm going to leave it at Kotlin. It says API 21 and I'm going to go with that and just leave that. Click finish and up will come Android Studio and it's going to take a while to index everything. Bring this up just a little bit here to make sure that nothing gets hidden. So after a while, everything appears to be completed. Let's go take a look at the main layout file. This right here is your Kotlin file. But I'm going to look at Activity Main. And there's Hello World. Text is kind of small. We can maybe expand it a little bit by hitting this plus. We're going to have to run it. It says No Devices. So I'm going to have to pick a device. And I can go over here to Tools. Or I can go right here where it says no devices and, you know, get to the device manager. Not the AVD anymore. It's device manager. And we've got a situation here where it says dev KVM device permission denied. Troubleshoot. Well, let's go and uh, make sure that uh, the user is added to that group. And I'll go over here. That's groups for the mic user. But there is a KVM group. And we'll go sudo add user mic to KVM. Adding user to group KVM. Adding user mic to group KVM and done. And let's do an ID and let's make sure Mike is in that group. And Mike is not in that group. So what I'm going to have to do here is do a sudo reboot log out, log in, but I'm just going to do a complete reboot, sudo reboot, and that should get me inside that group. Here, I've rebooted, and so let me go and start uh, Android Studio again, and while it's restarting, I'll bring up the terminal, and I'll do an ID on the terminal ID. You'll see this time, this user is listed with KVM group, so let me close the terminal. So it looks like 
we're ready to go a little bit quicker this time. No devices. So let's get a device going here. Get to the device manager. Create a device. Nothing too complicated. We're going with the Pixel 3. Next. Download a system image. I have to accept the license. Click the net and then click next. And it takes a while to download. So everything's done here, finally. Finish. We've downloaded S. Click Next. Pixel 3, API 31. And I'm going to just click Finish here. So now I've got a device here ready to roll. And let's run Hello World. And you'll notice down here it says Connecting to the Emulator. One of the things you'll notice differently in this version of Android Studio is that the emulator is going to appear in one of these windows or sections instead of floating off in space somewhere. But if you want to, make sure you've selected this window or section here and go to Window, an Active Tool window. Go to View Mode and then you can either set it to Float or Window. Either way. And then you can expand it. However much you want. Finally, Pixel is starting. We can expand it a little bit. Launch succeeded. And there's our Hello World program. So with a little bit of work, we got everything going. That's how you install Android Studio into Ubuntu 20.04. Thank you.